Hi, welcome back to Coding Casually. My name is Lakshay and today we will make a very short video on how you can read and write JSON files using Python. I will hop onto my Jupyter Notebook, you can see on my screen and let's start coding. So in order to write a JSON file, uh, what you can do is you can simply import JSON and then uh, what you can do is you can create a dictionary. For the sake of it, we are just uh, we'll make my dict uh, that will be, um, it could be name and then I can write Lakshay. Uh, this is how we create a dictionary plus let's add um, age as well and then we can write let's say 30 and then uh, what we can do here is um, we can write another parameter if we wish to just to make it more exciting what we can do is fav subject and it could be coding then if i want to see what i've written i can write this and then press enter and this is a normal dictionary but if we wish to write uh, the same into a JSON file, what we can do is we can create a JSON object. This is a variable. You can write it. Uh, you can write anything if you wish to. And you can write JSON dot dumps. Uh, sorry, dumps, and then you can give uh, this dictionary and put it over here, and then you can give an indent of four uh, probably three in my case because these are three and then what we can do here is we can write to a file uh, and then we have to give the location and what we can do is we can write my file dot json and then you copy you can copy it from here and then you can paste it here and then just because i haven't specified my working directory here so that is why i'm putting the whole location and then we can write as output file and then in order to write on this output file i can do this and then dot write and what we need to write is we need to write json object and then if i press shift enter it gives me that the file doesn't exist or basically the location doesn't exist no worries we will try to solve it uh, this is just because uh, we haven't specified the attribute now if i press shift enter you'll see that there is a file which got created and if you want to open it uh, using notepad you can use it i mean you can use a notepad to open the same and if you can see you'll see that yes this has now indeed been converted into a json file Similarly, if you wish to read the file, um, which I'm sure that you want because you have already written the same, uh, what you can do here is you can simply do the same that we have already done. Uh, we can import JSON as a module, of course, and then we can write with open the same file that we have already written. Uh, that will be this one till here and then we will pass the attribute of r and then you can write as open file and then if you would go and copy here and then you will write uh, json object will be uh, out open file json dot load and the open file that we have already written and now if you wish to print the same you can write print mm hence -hmm. you'll see uh, this is coming out to be a different one let's fix this probably two brackets we have written and hence we have a file that we read so here this is how you write and this is how you read if you feel there is anything that you can do of course there are many other ways that you can use even you can use pandas to do the same but this is one of the easiest and simplest ways to create a JSON file and to read a JSON file. If you think there are other ways which are simpler than this, please comment. Please like the video if you think that this has helped you even a bit and please share the same as well with people who are trying to begin their journey with coding. Thank you.